Canada's worst wildfire season is just getting started. It's been two decades since Canadian wildfires sent smoke barreling toward the U.S., as it has this week, and there could be days more of it in store. Canada is struggling against an unusually fierce wildfire season that officials warn could get worse still. The fight is on against hundreds of raging wildfires that stretch across the country that are covering major U.S. cities in toxic smoke and painting the sky in orange and yellow hues. Americans in New York and elsewhere are breathing it in, grounded at airports, stuck inside, just like they were during the pandemic. Blame Canada, the cover of the New York Post said Thursday. Sure, but also consider Lady Luck. Sometimes it's just bad luck, said Dave Phillips, senior climatologist at Environment Canada. He said strange winds in a low-pressure area off Nova Scotia on Canada's east coast acted like a vacuum cleaner, just sucking air southward and eastward, that fanned the haze of garbage quality air south of the border. That phenomenon is likely a one-off, something that hasn't happened since 2002, when Quebec fires shrouded the air in Washington and Baltimore and parts of the east coast. But Canada is struggling to combat what Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has called the worst wildfire season we've ever had. Hundreds of firefighters are flying in from around the world, from the U.S., Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and France, to help battle the flames and bring the situation under control right across the country, from the western provinces of British Columbia and Alberta to central and eastern Ontario, Quebec and Nova Scotia. More than 400 fires are burning, of which some 200 are out of control. Thousands of people rush to pack up what they can of their lives and evacuate their homes. Fires in the maritime provinces are now being held and some evacuees are set to soon return home. But new evacuation orders were issued in northeastern British Columbia Thursday. The country was ambushed with a fire season that started earlier than normal and hit far and wide due to a much drier spring than normal, the perfect storm of hot, dry conditions and ample kindling, according to David Marto, Professor Emeritus of Forest Fire Management Systems at University of Toronto. It's a bad year. He said, luck of the draw, about 38% of Canada is covered in forest and wildfires happen every year, but this year's had a bigger spread than normal, hitting nearly every jurisdiction, making it hard to spread out firefighting resources across such a big country.